from Phoenix Shaving, the Lather Lid. We're going to build a ladder with it, and then we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's BarbaraJoyStune.com. I'm back in another video. Thanks so much for coming by again. I really do appreciate you sharing your time with me. Great to see you. Love getting together and talking traditional wet shave with you. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. We're going to have a shave with a brand new piece of shaving gear from Phoenix Shaving. This is the Lather Lid. This is a combination of a lid for a standard shave soap container and a lathering bowl. That's right. This is a really ingenious travel device. If space is really tight and it's, an, and it's at a minimum and you still want to take your favorite shave soap, maybe a razor, some blades and a brush, this is your answer. We've talked about and used the travel scuttle, which is really, really nice. And it comes with a great pouch and you can take uh, soap samples and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, and, and that's great. You know, you put your travel scuttle here in the pouch like this with uh, your soap samples or tube soap or whatever you want to. And you can pack that away. And that's great. But if space I'm just going to hang it up over here. If space really is at a premium, this is a really nice solution. Now, here's how it works. Let's say you have your favorite shave soap, like John Crumb CK6 formula. Well, all you have to do is remove this lid, okay? Leave the lid at home, and now you can put on your lather lid. And there you go. It doesn't add much uh, height to it, but you have a full container of shave soap that you can take and the great thing is this lid is now your shaving bowl how cool is that so really if again if space is at a premium you could take something like this plus uh, your razor let's say the parker a1r all right maybe uh, blades like this in a plastic container so it has a disposal slot in the back so you can safely dispose of your razor blades something like that and uh, a brush and then you're all set there you go and maybe a small container of aftershave and maybe even a, uh, a travel container with an aloe block like the phoenix shaving uh aloe block the no slip grip in this travel case so you know there you are you have the bare minimum right there but you're still going to get a great great shape and you'll have something to uh build a lather with how cool is that and that's what we're going to do we're going to have a shave with this. Now let me get some hot water on top of the pot because we're going to do a brush load. Uh, as I uh, mentioned in a Monday morning mailbag, I spoke with Douglas Smythe uh, via messenger and he said that the lather bowl is meant to be brush loaded. Now if you want to scoop out the shave soap and put it in there, you can do that. Check out Monday morning mailbag from February 14th. There's a discussion up there regarding that. But um, Either way, but we are going to do a brush load uh, as indicated uh, by Douglas Smythe. So we're just going to put some hot water on top of that like that and set it aside. And I also like to put hot water in the, uh, in the lather lid just to kind of heat things up. And I'll set that there. And then we'll take this brush and we'll place it in the sink and we'll soak it a little bit. And while all that is heating up, let me get a blade from the uh, Derby Premium, haven't used these in a while, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my razor together and load my blade. This is the Parker A1R Travel Razor. Here is my uh, base plate and razor head right here. I also have a little uh, white O-ring on there, a little buffer ring, and uh, here's how I like to uh, pull out my uh, A1R. If you have this, I always I always install it with the threaded stud pointing up like that, and then the um, the female end is also pointed up. So 
Uh, you can grab that stud very easily. And then what I like to do is I like to just screw that right in there like that. And then I can very easily pull out the whole thing. Just a little tip if you happen to have the A1R and you kind of fumble around trying to get that handle out. Okay, so let me go ahead and unwrap this blade right here. And things are warming up nicely. We're not going to use any pre shave. We're just going to try to mimic bare minimum uh, uh, bare minimum shaving gear on, let's say, a weekend getaway, something like that. So there's my blade right there. There's my derby blade. I don't know if that's, I don't know if you can see that. There it is right there. Derby blade. Okay, now it's right side up. Okay, there's the cap. I'm going to put that in there like that. Here's my base plate and my O-ring right there. My buffer ring. Okay, that's all nicely in place. Here's my handle. Doesn't that go together nicely? That's terrific. And there we are, blade balance and alignment, absolutely wonderful. These are uh, coated blades, these Derby Premium. They've got a chromium, platinum kind of coat on them, coated, coating on them. I'm, you know, just really good stuff. All right, so let's take this hot water here from the, uh, the uh, John Frum shave soap. We'll put that in there. We'll use that as a little bit of a pre-shave. And we'll go ahead and wet the face and get to the shave. Ah, a couple of splashes. Now I'm just going to leave that hot water in the lather lid there. Okay, and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load right here. Right here, and I'm going to get a good brush. I'm going to get a good, good brush load. And I'm using CK6 because uh, this will still give me some great, great protection, wonderful glide, good smoothness, just, you know, a really good shave with a lot of nice glide, a lot of nice smoothness, a lot of good protection, great, great skin food ingredients in there. And I love this scent. This, is, this would go great for uh, any occasion, but if you're traveling, this is a good one to take because it has that refined, gentlemanly kind of quality uh, to the scent. Uh, uh, High Jump 47 is the same way. Droid Black is similar. Yeah, you can take a nice Bay Rum too if you want to. Atomic Age, maybe Diver Down, which is close to a Bay Rum. There we go. That's a nice brush load right there. I'm going to take this hot water that I have in the lather lid. Now you can see it has some raised vents in there. Okay, they have some uh, little channels in there that will retain a little bit of a uh, few droplets of water to kind of add to uh, the water and the soap that's already on the brush. So we're just going to go ahead and build our lather like this and get it going by running it over those, those raised vents there. And if I need to add a little bit of water, I'll just dip the brush in and add a little bit of that. And I am going to add a little bit of water, okay? And CK6 likes water. It really does like water. And boy, I got some nice lather building up in this bowl. Okay. A little more water. Well, that's making a lot of, that's making a lot of lather. Wow. Boom, lather, check that out, huh? There's a lot, there is a lot there. And I dare say, uh, in between uh, shaving passes, I can probably uh, add a little bit of more water to this and generate even more lather. I mean, look, look how much I'm getting right here. And I am pressing the brush down a little bit to really, really engage those, those raised vents there. Look at that. Wow, that is some... Okay, you know what? I'm going to just set this down here. Wow, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to wet the face once more. I want a little more water on my face. Hang on. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I'm just painting it on because it's all good to go. Look at that. And again, CK6 just likes water. So don't be, you know, don't be too stingy with it, with, with water that is. You know, if you get a good brush load like this, it'll just... It'll just, it'll just want that water. Okay. Look at that. Okay, well, we're all set. We're all set. And look, I've got so much here. I got so much in here. You can see. Look how much I have. I got more than enough. For a second pass. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can see how it's it's overflowed here a little bit too. Okay. We're just going to set the brush in there. You might have heard it fall out before, but that's that's okay. That was not a problem at all. Here's my razor. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. Wow. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's marvelous. That is terrific. That's a nice, nice, smooth, smooth pass. It's a terrific blade. I'm really glad I'm using this blade. I haven't used these blades in quite some time. Love that clean swath that I get from, you know, a good, sharp, comfortable blade and a good, efficient razor. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. That really is. All right. Just so you know, the end tabs of the blade are very, very nearly enclosed. You can just feel the edges there, but they don't get in the way at all. Nicely maneuverable underneath the nose and uh, underneath the nostrils. I'll get the remainder of those little bits on the east to west pass. First pass done, let's rinse. If I forgot to mention, I had one day's worth of beard growth. I'm already at a socially acceptable level. So here we go. Look at that. Look how, oh my gosh, look how much I have right here. This little bit of water on my face is going to help with the uh, my help with the CK6 there. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much I have. I'm just, it's, you know, it's amazing. It's just, there's all this shaving soap in here. This lather, rather. All this lather in there. Look at that. Look at how much I have. Boy, that's marvelous. And it's a beautiful scent. This is a wonderful, wonderful scent. Blow through on this brush is really nice. I mean, the lather is just painting on nicely. 
I've got a rich, thick, creamy layer of lather. That's, that's fantastic. Look, and I still have more in there. And I dare say I could probably get some more water on this brush and just, you know, generate even more based on the brush load that I have here. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that's terrific. That's this has been a, this is a really wonderful shave. These Parker razors really are surprisingly good. They're smooth, they're efficient. Really like these. Marvelous. Again, very maneuverable getting up underneath the nostrils and getting all those little bits. Really, really works well. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I'm done. That's, <laughs> that's a two-pass shave with this razor and this blade. Very, very nice. All right, so we're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. All right, a couple splashes. That's great, love this scent. It's just filling the shaving den. It really is a great, refined, gentlemanly scent. Love it, John Thrum. If you haven't tried it, you might, you might want to give it a try. It really is great, great for an evening out. Uh, really wonderful, you know, a night out on the town. A night out on the town. Really wonderful scent. All right, cold water. This is good and cold coming out of the pipes. Okay, cold water rinse. Okay, three splashes has got it. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Oh, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, I need a head shave. Okay. That's nice. That is really, really nice. Now, if I were to travel, absolutely, I'm going to take an Allen block because that's part of my post-shave routine. So, I would probably forego, say, a container of balm in favor of this. Take some aftershave. Take the lather lid. Take shave soap like this. A compact travel size uh, razor. Okay, so here's my Allen block. Okay, I'm going to run this under some cold water. Let's get some feedback. All right, here we go. No stinging, no zinging. Some nice bracing, but no stinging, no zinging at all. Now, because I don't have a dry dock with them with me, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off a little bit like that, and then um, 
you know, because I'm traveling, I don't have the dry dock. And I'll just put it back in the case like that and leave that open and let that air out. So it'll be ready for the next shave. Now, here's the discussion I have with Douglas Smythe. Okay, you can leave this shave soap on this brush and then you can choose to clean out the ladder lid uh, or even leave the ladder lid like this and then the next day uh, just rehydrate this with a little bit of water or rehydrate this with a little bit of water and now you've got shave soap for shave number two. Uh, and in that way your shaving container which you have uh, placed some water in to do this brush load. I'm going to wipe this off just a little bit because of the, uh, boy, this makes, the CK6 just makes lather. This will then dry out. So after that second shave, let's say it's a Sunday morning shave, you use that brush, you use that lather lid. Uh, you know, one of them is going to, one of them is going to have some soap from the previous shave, either the brush or the lather lid or both. And then uh, just shave with that, and then um, then you can clean both of those, and then this will be dry, and then you put the lather lid back on, and you're all set. Now, obviously, the other way to go about that is to just uh, take a little coin or some other device, small plastic spoon, and scoop out some soap and place it in the uh, the lather lid without wetting your uh, soap pocket. It's entirely up to you, but as Douglas Smythe told me the ladder lid is really recommended uh, for brush loading and uh, it did a fantastic, fantastic job. This, I mean, there is so much. There's still a lot of lather in there. I mean, I can just push the brush in there and just pull out more lather. It's absolutely, it's amazing. It really is. It really is a neat, neat device. Uh, so not only will it fit uh, Phoenix shaving, shave soap containers, but also spearhead, sterling, uh, containers of that size. A standard, I'm calling it a standard shave soap container size. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of universal with this size container. So it'll also work on um, sterling containers this size, spearhead containers this size, um, you know, and others uh, that size. All right, so let's just pretend I have a smaller, uh, container of um, aftershave and uh, we're going to use that and finish up my shave here with some John from like this. Great, great shave. A wonderful shave. Wow. That was absolutely wonderful. Love this aftershave. Got a little kick to it. This was great. A great shave and a really, really Terrific, terrific device. This is great for travel. Again, if space is tight and you have a minimum space, a minimum amount of space to travel and you have to cut down on your shaving gear, this is a really, really good solution. Um, and uh, there you go, the lather lid. I mean, that is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Gabe, I mean, this is the fourth time I've used it. And each time I use it and learn a little bit more about it, it gets better and better. And because it's a new item like this, I dare say as uh, other wet shavers purchase it and use it, you're going to probably start seeing a lot of tips and tricks and new techniques uh, on Facebook and uh, shaving forums and, and that sort of thing on how to use this. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing all those too from wet shavers. It's great. My thanks to Doug and Fran and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for sending us along. Thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it. I'm impressed. I like it a lot and it's at a great, great price point. So uh, you know what? The lather lid. <laughs> Give it a try. It's a terrific device. It really is. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've been enjoying using it. I enjoyed it for this shave and it just, you can see it just, I have enough here for probably another two or three passes, which is why I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to clean this brush. I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it on the counter and I'm going to use it tomorrow and uh, see how it goes. I'm looking forward to, to trying that. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. 
Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear, including the lather lift. Yeah. Uh, check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's rating, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.